A car in California has been destroyed, but the vandal wasn't human. Police last spotted the man here at this apartment complex where he left his car. Wine lovers, listen up. Festa 2011 is happening in Canyon County this weekend to celebrate the annual harvest. Okay, you guys might not know this, but I am a huge fan of MMA. Are you? Huge really? fan. Yes, and I happen to know the guy wow. that you're going to be talking about is always entertaining, always yeah. full of energy, right? Now, as you can see, these chickens do have room to roam, but they'll have even more space come the end of November, and they're getting trained on how to lay their eggs in here. The lady in Lady Gaga wasn't so much the focus at the MTV Video Music Awards. The boys rode their bikes out on the lake. Then around 5 o'clock, they called police after ice on the lake began to crack. Well, safety is on the minds of many with the 10-year anniversary of 9-11 almost here, and there's a push for public vigilance against any possible threats. There were some small flare-ups earlier. Now one of those has gotten even bigger. You can see it right there. Well, Steve, I thought this weekend was just awesome. I actually got out to the park twice. Oh, good. It was fantastic, but of course it can't last forever, right? No, it can't. A horse in an eight-foot hole? That's nothing compared to a dog who went off an 1,100-foot cliff. Standing up on a skateboard is the first step, but actually making progress could take some pain. Getting robbed by Gumby. Oh, yeah. Police in San Diego are looking for a man who wore a cartoon costume into a convenience store. And as Carrie Chow reports, he actually had to convince clerks he was there to take their money. The suspect in this case is a former Lehigh police officer who left in 2004. Before that, he was with the Utah County Sheriff's Office, we understand. I'm Kiora Balul, live in Bend. Millions of dollars are coming back to higher education in Oregon, and here's how. It is still a developing situation out here, but we did see a bomb robot go into the mall past the yellow tape there just about 10 minutes ago. If you enjoy the internet while you're on the job, a new study finds that could actually make Make you a better worker. It turns out about two thirds of students at four year colleges like the U have student debt, and soon they could be paying even more. It's a huge opportunity to win some Monster Jam tickets. I'm QR Balool. I'm checking the tire pressure right now. I'll get back to you after the break. You're watching 12 News at 9. Good evening, I'm Dan Hamilton. And I'm Kira Balool. The president spoke on national television tonight about the American Dreams Act. Bottom line, to him, this plan is a no-brainer. While job prospects could be getting better in the near future, a company based in Garden City continues to create them. 12 News reporter Matt Standel paid a visit to Atlas Frontiers. And Matt, I understand you talked with a 29-year-old CEO who doubled his workforce in the past year? A University of Idaho student who fell from a fraternity house window two years ago is now suing the school. Amanda Andaverde from Caldwell suffered serious brain injuries when she fell 27 feet in 2009. A labor dispute in Washington state apparently turned violent today. Although the scene looks quiet here, earlier in the day, hundreds of longshoremen reportedly stormed a grain shipping terminal. You're watching 12 News at 9, news for busy people. Okay, I did not know this, yeah. but it is perfectly legal to walk around naked in San Francisco, and that apparently is not going to change. I tell you, I did not know there was <laughs> such a thing as new to this right, etiquette until right. now, right? Yeah, and I've been to restaurants in San Francisco. I didn't know I could actually see naked people. All right, avoid yeah, them. Right. <laughs> uh, the new rule would also require nudists to cover up in restaurants, so you're going to be okay there. Okay, good to know. If it passes, violators of the law could face a $100 fine and some jail time. Okay, we'll keep you posted yeah. on what happens there. <laughs> <laughs> and we do have more news and fun stories on the way on News Edge at 10. Here's Stacey Skryzak with a preview. The FAA has released its 9-11 tapes that give a glimpse of what happened as the terror attacks unfolded. Take a listen to this recording of terrorists taking over American Airlines Flight 11. Okay, Steve, at least we're getting down into the high 80s for a few days this week, uh, right? Yeah. A new study shows drinking alcohol in moderation may be good for you. Researchers found middle-aged women who have an average of 3 to 15 alcoholic drinks per week have higher odds of being healthy later in life. <laughs> Reality TV mom Kate Goslin says she's freaking out big time now that her longtime TLC show has been canceled. In an interview with People magazine, Goslin says she and her twins and sextuplets were not ready to leave Kate Plus 8. Yeah, I didn't know you could make that much money doing that. Wow. New business to go into, right? <laughs> Start thinking about right. it. Right. That's all for us tonight. Thanks for watching. And News Edge at 10 is next. Stay tuned. 
According to Allied Waste, 84% of what goes to the landfill could be recycled, composted or reused. About a third of residents set out recycling bins on the curb every week, but what happens to everything inside them? I wanted to know, so I tracked the trail of your trash to see how refuse becomes reuse. You may think your impact is just a drop in the bucket, but the power of recycling can pile up in a positive way. So you have your blue bin and you throw in your recycling every other week. You may not think much about it after that, but the fact is a piece of cardboard like this has a long journey ahead. You'll run around the neighborhoods and uh, tip the bins into the truck, pack it into the trucks, uh, bring it to us. It is recycling collected from Ada County, Boise, Meridian, Eagle and Star. And it's a welcome sight at the Western Recycling Center, where every day trucks drop off a total of 80 tons of trash destined to live another day in another way. Just so you know, 80 tons is about the size of a blue whale, the largest animal to ever live on Earth. And that impressive amount comes in as an unseparated mix of recyclable materials known in the business as residential single stream. From here, we're going to uh, run it through our baler. The bales will head over the border to Oregon, where they'll get separated out at a material recovery facility like this one, also called a MRF. It's a series of disc screens that uh, do the some of the separation. A at the end of the process, there's a lot of hands involved in it still. Connected by conveyor belts, the MRF uses an impressive network of magnets, screens, machines, and human beings to pick out the range of recyclables from the mountainous mix. Back in Boise, there's enough work to keep crews busy and the conveyor belt full from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. I push all the waste onto the belt. Yeah, this machine never stops, never slows down. <laughs> Up to 40 tons of paper a day fall into this machine and come out as 1,400 pound bales. Whenever it uh, senses it has a full bale of material, it starts pushing it out and as it's coming out, it's tying it with the uh, wire bands. The bundles stay mostly in the Northwest, delivered to pulp mills and turned back into paper products. They'll make uh, paper towels, toilet paper, those types of items out of it. Statistics show Americans use 4 million plastic bottles every hour, but only recycle a quarter of them. Plastics get shipped out across the nation and overseas to countries like China to be repurposed as literally thousands of items, from car parts to office supplies to playground equipment. You can see this huge wall of cans all bailed up and ready to get shipped out, but how long does it take for them to get truly recycled? Not as long as you might think. Can go to a, a smelter and be back into an aluminum can in a couple of weeks, literally back on a store shelf. Curbside recycling started around the Treasure Valley back in 1992 when people had to separate out their items. In April, that switched to a big blue bin that holds a range of recyclables, and the impact in just seven months has been incredible. Since implementing uh, that program, uh, we've seen the volumes, the recovered revolumes, uh, almost double here in the Boise Valley. Job security for me. <laughs> Employee Mark Olson says he's noticed the growing amount of goods from behind the wheel. Every day it's like more and more. Whether you're going green as a resident or saving some green as a business, your drop in the bucket can have sweeping effects on the economy and the earth. People are a lot more conscientious about, uh, you know, the environment and uh, doing the right thing and recycling is, uh, you know, is, it's a big component of that. There's no reason not to recycle anymore. Now, there are two types that should not go in recycling bins. First, plastic film like trash bags, grocery sacks, and this plastic wrap, which we use enough of to wrap around all of Idaho every year. And please avoid glass as well. The shards can cut people, mess up machinery, and contaminate other items. There are many other places you can drop these off. Just go to fox12idaho.com if you'd like some locations.